So that's me when I used to live in London, trying to make ends meet as a filmmaker, until one day I saw the light and decided to get rid of all the junk in my life, reducing it to just the things I needed to do what I had always dreamed of, to travel the world endlessly making films. So I said goodbye to my friends and family and set out on my great big adventure. And what I have learned is that when you let go of your fears and relentlessly pursue your creativity in every aspect of your life, the universe will find a way for you to live your dream. Less than a year later, I met my perfect partner on a bus in Thailand, and now we have the perfect baby too. So this is the story of three travelers with one mission, to follow our creativity and keep having fun. When Sabrina and I met on that bus in Thailand, I knew that our meeting was important in some way, but I could never have foretold that less than a year later we would have a baby. I don't have much video footage from this year, mostly because I was busy enjoying my new relationship, but I'm going to do my best to tell the story anyway. It turned out Sabrina's grandparents lived in Chiang Mai too, so it wasn't such a big leap for her to call off her traveling and move to the city to live with me. I was a little concerned when she told me she had a fear of cats, as by then the two kittens born in my cupboard had grown up and another local cat had also decided that my wardrobe was the best place to give birth. Sabrina had not been blessed with such a cat-filled childhood as myself, and after a few bad experiences, her mind was playing out fear-based association on autopilot. I've had cats in my life since I was a baby, so for me there's nothing to be afraid of. Mark II, birthing zone. <laughs> My family of cats was growing up quickly and the kittens were already starting to explore the world outside of my sock drawer when Sabrina moved in. So there was only one thing she could do. As with any fear, the best cure is always to confront it. So confront it she did and it didn't take long before we were one big happy family. Sabrina and I spent a lot of time in our cat paradise home, but it wasn't long before we were influenced by our spiritual surroundings and I decided it was time to learn Reiki, the ancient and powerful art of healing with the hands. And Sabrina decided it was time to learn Thai massage. After that, the two of us traveled around a bit and saw some wonderful sights and some very unique toilet signs. Then we decided to head back to Europe together to see our families. First stop was the UK, and despite the weather map looking like this, it felt good to be back. Sabrina had never been to London before, so we started in Greenwich and then made our way up the river to see the classic sights of the city and spent a few days behaving like tourists. After checking in with my family, we went to visit John Paul, one of my oldest friends who also happens to love my cat Prince as much as I do. JP's total passion for making sausages has led him to create a highly successful business doing what he loves. And since moving to the Kent countryside, he has discovered his passion for boats. And what you're looking at here is his second home on the water. Captain Johnny is a genuinely beautiful human being and has helped me in many ways over the years. So I decided it was time to help him by giving something back in the form of a time-lapse film. I was keen to perfect my hyperlapse technique and find a way to creatively highlight the different working parts of a factory production line and JP's Sausage Factory was the perfect place for me to take my ideas for a test run.
I'm not gonna lie to you, it wasn't the most pleasant experience spending two weeks in this environment. I live on a mostly vegan diet and firmly believe that no animals need die in order for us to survive on this planet for the simple and irrefutable reason that we have the anatomies of herbivores. I am not here to judge other people's experience of the world, however, and I do believe that we cannot change anyone except ourselves. I live the way I do so that others may witness my life and include this information in the way they choose to live theirs. And then something unexpected and magical happened. Two pregnancy tests confirmed that our first baby had arrived. A little quicker than we had expected, but our baby clearly had a schedule of his own. So we thanked him for choosing us and welcomed him into his new physical body with all the love we could muster. Then we moved to a most tranquil part of the UK, Lechlade upon Thames in Oxfordshire, where I was happily reunited with my beautiful cat, Prince. Sabrina was introduced to life with a growing bump, and I learned to fly my first quadcopter, a DJI Phantom II. My sausage factory film had led me effortlessly to a paid job, also for a good friend, but this time I was there to document the three-month construction of the UK's largest solar farm. The sheer scale of this project meant that I had to use drone footage in combination with my time-lapse shots to create a construction film unlike anything before it. After completing my job, we flew to the south of France to join Sabrina's family near Perpignan, very close to the Spanish border. It was there that I had the idea to turn Sabrina's growing belly into a time-lapse film that would not only document the pregnancy period, but also the many locations we visited and the growing number of baby clothes in our wardrobe. And it is my intention for this particular time-lapse film to be an ongoing project in which you will be able to see the growth of our son into the wonderful young man I know he will become. By this time, we had decided upon a name for our little man. Even though he had an English father and a French mother, in the end we went for a Spanish name which simply felt right to us. We called him Esteban. 
and the next exciting chapter of our traveling adventure was about to begin. <laughs>